Hello, today we're at Bath Chew Valley Caravan Park in Somerset. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down When in Somerset, you got to drink the local brew. In this case, Thatcher's Gold. Cheers. That's right good. 
Now this shop here, that Bishop Sutton Stores, well, it looks a small little shop. It's really big inside, sells loads of stuff. Really handy for picking up bits and pieces, you know, the usuals, but you can get ready meals and a good selection of beer, wines and spirits in there. And the pub across the road, the Red Lion, we didn't get there in the end, but uh, the landlord was very helpful. He helped me in the end get my caravan onto the site. So no dogs allowed in the woodland walk. Interesting fact about foxes. A fox will eat anything, including maggoty dead animals, rotten human food and dirty nappies. Mm, right. Some interesting facts though. It's good that they've got these things here. I think this is very nice. Nice area to sit and have a photograph taken. Obviously not with your dog. Um, these are nice little bits, aren't they? So someone's, obviously it's autumn time now, leaves are dropping. Uh, this is lit up at night by the look of it as well. There's some lights and stuff about. Some information about uh, the shrubbery that's growing. Little bird tables, etc. You get the gist of this, don't you? So while we're walking, when you arrive here, they tow your caravan up to the um, pitch, which is allocated. You can't choose a pitch, it's all allocated for you. They allocated as one in the shade, which is nice. Someone's going to be the unlucky one. It was us. Uh, just get a little bit of sun first thing and later on. But there you go. Someone's got to have the shady pitch. <laughs> so when you arrive, they take your caravan to the pitch. You follow in your car. Um, the guy who does it does it very well and, the, and checks it's all level. He put a little wooden block under one of our wheels to make sure it was level. Did a good job, to be fair to him. And. Um, and then you can unload gear from your car that you need and then when you've done that you have to bring your car back from the pitch and park it sort of in a car park down by reception see this is good i like this sort of stuff information here on a guide to the top 50 garden birds in the uk there's also a couple of really nice sort of wooden lodges going on here of which this is one yeah no dogs in the woodland walk um yeah this is lovely so it's got a, a private um decking area that can sit outside that's really nice isn't it got a heater up there as well so it's a, a larger than average pod i would say and really nicely done and there's another more modern version of that next door That looks really nice. So you can't fault the grounds. They are beautiful. This is where you park your motors, over here. That's the tractor that pulls your caravan to your pitch. And then over there are all individual toilets. Now they are very good, I have to say. There's a toilet, a shower, and wash up, you know, wash basin there. And um, they're warm. I've been in the middle of the night, they were nice and warm and very clean, so really can't knock them. So this is the uh, wash up. That's for clothes washing the big sink and then dish washing only over here. This is also an area where you can get all your local information, leaflets. There's also a freezer down here which um, campers can use. Just bag and label your items and put them in. And then over on this side, an iron and iron board should you need it. Some more information on the boards and then washers and dryers over here. Now this is £3 for a wash so that's good, that's cheaper than the last one we were at and a pound for your dryer which was the same price as um, concierge. So yeah. Well the sun's out now and it's gorgeous, a gorgeous day. Very good.
couple of motorhomes departing. So you have to turn left out of the park and then when you've turned left obviously you're not going to hit any oncoming big traffic the other way. So it's a one-way system which makes perfect sense. Yeah what's also really useful here look, is um, they put these boards up on on the fence. So that's the local pub I was telling you about. So there's what the opening times are and etc. And also they have a quiz night which the landlord from here was really helpful when I arrived. A quiz night alternate Mondays. We didn't go along. We were a bit shattered to be honest with you. That's the uh, village shop I was telling you about. That's got everything. And then this is useful. 10 pubs in 10 minutes uh, and some of the local amenities. So it's good they've got this out here. Now the one we went to was the Carpenter's Arms uh, up here. And God, that's, that's cracking place. And that's about a between five and 10 minute drive. So if you fancy a pint, uh, you've had it because you've got to take the car. Um, but nevertheless, it was really good. Very nice food. And then some information about some of the local walks you can do. The Chew Valley Lake isn't far away at all. There's a big sort of fish and chip restaurant around the side of the lake as well. Very beautiful, worth a look. Here's how you can get about if you don't want to take your car like. You can get public transport, park and ride, taxis and car hire information. Really useful as well. And the fact they sell some um, uh, bits and bobs at reception, which I've not actually ever been into reception. There was no need for us to go in. But if you need gas or... Um, masks or toilet fluid etc you can get all that from here and there's a whole load of park info um, which is probably on their website as well so there's a lot of it pretty extensive and an area that we were hoping to get to but we didn't because we didn't really do our research well is although this is called Bath Chew it's, it's not anywhere really very close to Bath it's, a, it's about a half hour drive away um, so we didn't end up going to Bath in the end because we had, had a National Trust visit yesterday and we just decided today we wouldn't bother. Pretty obvious what this is, isn't it? Drinking water and grey waste and some refuge recycling and general waste. So this is when you come onto the main site itself. I'll put a little uh, note underneath with a number of pictures. It's a blend of uh, full service pictures and standard pictures they're all hard standing See the, these are the nice little touches look things like this so I was just speaking to the guy that was towed us in actually and there's a little team of them that take their take their bit they do their bit in terms of keeping everyone nice the grass is lovely and green now this could be one of the reasons why they don't want cars on the grass because Look how lovely the grass is. You know, it's in very good order. And if everyone was bringing the cars, this would all be churned up, especially this time of year, as it gets damp. We've had a bit of a sunshine and showers kind of few days, so we didn't end up putting the sun canopy up on this occasion. But we're pitched just over here. Full service pitch. Everything works just fine. A number of empty pitches now, but it was a bit busier than this when we arrived, but it's, it's got a little bit quieter now. Drinking water from there. Just down this end, I'll just take you on the, the dog walk. Pet exercise area, clean up after your pet, and pets must be on the lead at all times. That's what it says there. Sado has a lot of history in the area, some lovely village pubs to visit, um, yeah. and the, the lake around there, you know, there's the, the Chew Valley Reservoir and all yeah. that. 
Beautiful. And there's it? a fish and chip cafe there. You can eat fish and chips and look over the lake. Yeah. Which we did. Um, not the cheapest fish and chips I've ever bought, but they were they were very very nice. And we went to um, there were some standing stones and druids. A lot of history in the area. You know. We went to a lovely pub, didn't we, one night? Yeah, we went to a pub called the Carpenter's Arms. Carpenter's Arms. I think I've already mentioned it in the video, so have a, have a little look at that if you do go down it there. That's lovely. That's it? definitely worth a visit. And of course, we visited a uh, National Trust place as well, didn't we? Can you remember what that oh, was called? Oh, yes, and the gardens were beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the name of it just now. I'll put it up um, on a little uh, bit of text so you can see um, the name of I it. I think it was called, T was it Tintersteel? Tintsteel. Tintersfield. 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 We don't know what it was called. <laughs> Tinsfield, it was. The man told me, like, tint in your hair. Okay. Tinsfield uh, House Hall. Is that phase four? Because I can't remember what it was called. So, if you have been, thank you for watching the video. If you're new around here and not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We, look, we like a little like, and we love all the comments, and all those little things that cost absolutely nothing. Uh, they help our channel to grow. Next video is a bit different. Uh, we are going to be um, highlighting some of the purchases that we've made, uh, particularly I think at Malvern and uh, since for the caravan. So look out for that one next Thursday and we'll share some of those little purchases with you. That's it for this one. We'll catch you in our next video. And until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye for now.